Hey, welcome back to the channel, my fellow weather junkies. I'm your host, Greg Majeski, your personal weatherman here, bringing you the weather without all that social media hype here on your Friday, December 6th, 2024. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're tracking here for today's forecast as we're looking at another big chill. We've already got one in place, but uh, another one's coming down next week. Could see some pretty hefty thunderstorms with that as well as that moves on through. Looks like we're definitely still on track for that mid-month pattern change. It's going to be quite significant. So as a result of that, th things are going to warm up across a lot of the country. And then we're also going to be looking ahead for Christmas. Is it going to be a mild Christmas or can we look forward to another cold shot to come down around that time? We'll show you the latest trackings on that as well. Now, before we get into this report, I first want to personally thank all the new subscribers to the channel. We're definitely moving in the right direction. And if you want to join the family, come on board. Why don't you go hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you learn on future content. And as always, to help me out with that YouTube algorithm, it's a little nasty. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. I do appreciate your help in us trying to continue to grow this channel. Remember, this is for you guys. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our current drought conditions across the country. I want to start here because we're talking about that pattern change coming, which is, I think, is going to increase the chances of rain across the nation. As you can see, we got a lot of color on this map out there, especially higher drought conditions up here and to the uh, Intermountain region coming down to here toward north of Colorado, down here across the southwest. But we definitely got a lot of color here we need to trim back. And I think we're going to see increased opportunities of rain coming our way as we head for the next couple of weeks. Now, looking at our current satellite imagery, it has got a big plane high pressure here across most of the country, especially the eastern half. Very cold out there, uh, very blustery, some wind chills down below zero in some locations. It's just very quiet and cold. Going to watch the moisture start to increase here across Texas here as we're going to see rains increase across the southeast as we have for the next couple of days. See all this color off this map, and that's all the storm tracks still going up into the north there. We are going to start to see it shift a little bit for the south, start to increase here across portions of Washington State, but most of the west coast here for this morning also looking quiet here on your Friday. But the rain chances, folks, up here will start to increase as we head through this upcoming weekend. All right, let's look at the current watches and warnings across the nation. Pretty quiet. Got a couple leftover uh, winter weather uh, advisories there across New York State and into Pennsylvania. A couple of high wind warnings out here across portions of Montana and Wyoming and a couple areas of fog out there, but otherwise... Not looking too bad across most of the nation here on your Friday. All right, again, the lack of systems is because we've got a big blue high. Yeah, big high pressure system here in the middle of the country. Got some snows up here across the Great Lakes. We got temperatures down into the low 20s down in toward Birmingham and Atlanta for this morning. Even getting down toward freezing down toward the Gulf Coast this morning as that big Arctic front is sweeping on down to the south. Again, watching the rains increasing around here across Texas here over the next several days. Let's track some of this snow. It's kind of hard to see, but we can see a little bit of it here coming across the lakes here, uh, coming into northern portions of Michigan, coming out of Canada. So they get a little bit of down toward Marquette. We'll get a little more snow here for today. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the list from the Storms Prediction Center. As we mentioned, we are going to be seeing an increase in the chance for storms here coming over the next several days. And we're going to start out here first with our day one outlook here for Friday. So you see the thunderstorms here across uh, portions of Texas coming back over toward New Mexico and Arizona. So that's your day one outlook here uh, for that. Let's go ahead and take it through the weekend. We'll go ahead and take a look and see uh, how that's going to progress here as we look at our day two outlook. The day two outlook will start to shift this off just a little bit, ever so slightly, there across portions of Texas. And they will really start to kick on out as we head in towards your Sunday. Yeah, this is your Sunday outlook here. As we can see, the, uh, we're going to see that begin to move on off there. Uh, toward the, the southeast, which is, again, some needed rainfall we're going to see. So you can see across portions of Arkansas down toward Texas and even getting over to portions of Alabama. So that's going to be heading in toward your Sunday uh, as that uh, thunderstorms will continue to move off toward the east. Now, once again, not tracking any severe round with this round. Might be a different story as we head to later in the next week. We'll talk about that in greater detail in a second. Now, with those storms moving off toward the east, we are going to see an increase of chance of seeing some heavier rains. Now, this is your day two. So this is for Saturday. We'll start out here first as we're going to see a margin risk for some heavy downpours and some ice lead flooding into that zone. And then that is going to increase as we look at your day three. Day three, it's going to be uh, shifting off toward the east there a little bit. So as I pull up your day three, there you see we got that slight risk in there as we've got uh, that coming through Mississippi, down through East Texas, and a big chunk of Louisiana, seeing a slight risk of some heavy rains and some isolated flooding with some of those storms as that, continue, that system begins to move off 
uh, toward the east. Now, as we look at your three to seven day outlook, it's kind of hitting on this a little bit. You can see that a wider area there seeing a chance of some heavy rains uh, in that, that zone. So again, we're looking at a pretty good coverage area. We're going to be beating back some of those drought conditions in there a little bit. The snowy look around the Great Lakes and a little bit windy up here across portions of Montana and uh, also some snow here across portions of the mountains as well as we look at the next three to seven days. Now let's go ahead and talk about the, the short-term forecast. We're going to be looking at your high resolution model here. I'll take you out to about Saturday night going into Sunday morning. So again, what we're starting off with is just plain old cold. We've got a lot of cold here across the the Great Lakes and across New England right now, but most of the country pretty quiet. But we're going to watch here a little bit. We've got a little system that's going to come up here to the north. We're going to be watching this uh, down toward Texas begin to increase a little bit, and we'll finally start to see some rainy action start to come out there on the west coast as we go for the next, uh, say, 42 to 48 hours. So we're going to take this on out. That blue begins to slowly retreat as we go into the day through Saturday. Uh, we've got a weak system here coming in up through Canada here, uh, right along the uh, Canadian-American border there. A little bit of snow action right there. Here comes the rains increasing across Texas. And here comes those rains coming in here on the West Coast as we go throughout the day on your Saturday. As we go and take this out for the rest of the day on Saturday, again, we'll see that system begin to continue to move off toward the, toward the east, heading toward New England. And seeing the, the uh, snow start to increase with the higher elevations there across the portions of Idaho and into Montana. Again, watching the rain there increasing across Texas as this will be moving off toward the east as we go into your Sunday. Now let's talk about the jet stream, okay? That jet stream is uh, pretty going to be pretty amplified coming up toward the middle of the week. But once we get past Wednesday, folks, we'll start to see things begin to uh, settle down a bit, a little bit. What we're watching here is this energy across the southwest, and we're going to watch another shot of some cold air coming down here out of Canada. Now, as I go, progress this forward, it's going to take a while for that system to kick on out. But once it does, and it meets up with that trough, and there, it's got, they're kind of hooking up right there. So we got this new trough digging in here. You got this energy, you got this energy. They're going to kind of merge their energies together here as we go toward Wednesday. And we're going to have a pretty pronounced sharp trough as we go into Tuesday and into Wednesday. So this is a pretty sharp trough uh, going into Wednesday. So as a result of this, I'm still watching along the Carolina and here portions of southwest Georgia uh, potential for some thunderstorms that could be severe. This is a pretty robust uh, trough that's moving in there. It's got a little bit of a negative tilt, so there's there's going to be some wind shear there. The only question is going to be instability. Of course, this time of year in December, how warm does it really get to kind of feed any potential thunderstorms? That's the only question. I think we're going to have some thunderstorms. It's just a question of if are they going to be severe or not. And if they are, I couldn't rule out a possibility of a few isolated tornadoes. Definitely not with a, with a trough like that. Now, Look at this configuration. You've got a pretty good, again, coming out of, out of the Arctic. What's going to happen is we're going to shift from kind of an Arctic flow to more of a Pacific flow as we go through time. That, that troughs are going to be a lot smaller. So what that means, we're not going to have any big, this is a big storm system. We'll call, I call this a big one. This is a pretty good one. But after this, you're not going to see that here for the rest of the forecast period, at least the way the Europeans currently looking as we go past the middle of the month and heading toward Christmas week. So it becomes a little more zonal as we go toward uh, the 14th and 15th. That means the temperatures across the country, especially the east, which is kind of in the ice box right now, you're getting a brief, and I do mean brief, warm up this weekend before that next cold shot comes down. But after that, it's going to warm up across a lot of the nation. A very uh, progressive west-east flow here as uh, we're seeing the jet stream. You notice not seeing the bright. It's very strong off the west coast here but kind of a very weak looking flow here. Got a little system in here, got a little system in here, and that's gonna give opportunities for rain across the country. But again, no big major storm systems in here. Got a screaming jet here off the West Coast here. I mean, it's, that's, that's pretty pronounced there uh, coming in there. So they'll be getting some increasing rains here, but it is definitely a split flow uh, off, off the Pacific Coast there right now. So the jet stream a little bit crazy, but it looks like right now we'll see a warmer temperatures and increased chances of rain once we get past, say, the 16th and 17th across the nation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that precipitation breakdown again. Through the weekend, not looking too bad, although as we go through the weekend to Saturday and Sunday, we'll see that rain begin to increase going into Sunday throughout the day across Arkansas and the Deep South. Again, we've got the weak system here right along the Canadian border, a little unsettled weather out there on the West Coast as we go in toward December the 8th. Now, as we go ahead and take this forward again, we'll see the rain begin to spread throughout the day on Monday. And as that storm system begins to move off toward the east, we got that front system coming in there. And uh, a little chillier out here in the west just a little bit as uh, we get that, again, that brief warm up there uh, out ahead of that next storm system. But then we're going to watch the new storm system form. And you clearly see that cold air coming on down here. You can see the, the blue here starting to dive down. We got one more cold shot, so we're not done yet. 
as this comes on through. And then as we go in toward Wednesday, I'm going to stop it here as we go into Wednesday. This is on the 11th. We're going to be watching this area down in here. Again, I'm watching the Carolina coast down towards southeast uh, Georgia into the into possible the, the Florida panhandle. That's my target zone for potential thunderstorms there as we've got a very deep trough here, very cold air coming down here and warm up out ahead of it. You've seen a 504 height there. That's a very cold air across Minnesota uh, there on your Wednesday. So a very, very, very chilly. Now, once that storm system moves on off, we're going to get some snows on the back side of this. There'll be some enhanced snows here across portions of New York and into Vermont and areas like that going into Wednesday night. So we're going into the 11th and into the 12th. We'll be seeing the snows there a little bit, and there'll be a little bit of lake effect there as well, but nothing like we saw uh, the previous week, uh, the weekend uh, after Thanksgiving. Nothing like that. So this moves on off, and then this cold air begins to move on out. Again, it's a definitely a hit and run as we go into Friday, and then the pattern takes a, a change takes effect. So going toward the middle of the month, things begin to change a little bit, and we'll be tracking basically weaker systems at that. Got a weak system here. Got one out here on the West Coast. It'll be a series of little, these little things as we go from, say, the 14th to the 21st. So looking beyond the 10-day the here, uh, again, you see the, the other weak system here coming out here across the plains a little bit there. Uh, coming on, we got another one here off the West Coast. Uh, and these will be dumping some needed rains across portions of the country. Remember that map I showed you to start with? We need the rain across the area, so wherever we can get these things in the fall. Seeing a little upper low here coming across Southern California. Even Southern California going to get on a little rain there down toward los angeles and up towards between san francisco getting a little rain with that system there a little snow here across new england again a little rain here across texas so uh but no major storm systems you're not really seeing anything nothing like the one we're seeing for this upcoming wednesday and then you see the rain there kind of progressing across the southeast looks like a little little cold shot here coming across uh portions of the northeast as we go in toward the 19th and 20th Here's another little weak system there. Here's another system coming in on the West Coast. So basically from the 14th to the 21st, uh, it's going to be a series of weaker systems once that big system goes on by. And this is going out to the 21st, almost a few days before Christmas. So right now, the way it's trending as far as thinking toward Christmas week, looks like I, th I think we're trending toward a milder Christmas. At least that's the way it's looking right now, unless I see some indications of a pattern shift. Usually when a pattern shift changes, it usually takes two to three weeks to see it change again. And I'm thinking we're going to stay in a mild pattern because we're changing around the 15th, maybe not until the first week in January. At least that's the way I'm looking at it right now. So let's go ahead and break this down as far as precipitation. We'll go ahead and take a look at your 10-day total here as I take this across uh, 240. So we got the rains here increasing going into Monday there across the southeast, going into the 8th and 9th there. And then we'll see it again. Boom, we got a nice little surge out of that next storm system going into Wednesday. Again, thunderstorms across portions of Georgia and the Carolinas, not out of the question there. Rains across New England. And then we'll take this out to 240. Now, some of that rain total across New England will be in the form of snow. I'll show you that here in a second. So some of this will be snow up this way. Decent rains here across the southeast. Decent rains out here on the, on the west coast. And uh, many of the interior sections here, lighter rain and fall amounts, generally less than a half inch. But again, starting to fill in at those gaps just a little bit. Uh, we went through a pretty uh, dry period there after Thanksgiving. So we're starting to see that change a little bit as we go through the next 10 days. So I'm gonna leave that there. Let's go ahead and take a look at your snow total here for the next 10 days. We're gonna take this all the way out as well. Again, we'll see some lake effect there uh, through the weekend, just a little bit across areas of the Great Lakes. Uh, and then as we go into Sunday, a little bit there across New England, but you're gonna notice a big spike in snows as I head toward the, toward the 10 day here, especially across the Northeast. So watch this, boom, there it goes. That's that storm system coming out on Wednesday and into Thursday. So we'll see areas of eight to 12 inches of snow across areas of Northern Vermont, New Hampshire, big part of New York state could get some pretty decent snows there uh, with that storm system coming in toward the middle of next week. So again, we'll take this on out to 240 once again, to 10 day total here. And we'll see increasing snows across the Mountain West. Obviously with those series of little weaker uh, systems coming in out there as we head toward December the 15th. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about temperatures. We're gonna look at the temperature profile, okay? Now, what we've got right now is we've got the cold air obviously here in the east here for today. Obviously you see the big gr the greens and the blues. We're very chilly out here, uh, maybe a little above normal out toward the west. So we're gonna see things modify for the weekend. So we're gonna see things modify briefly for the weekend. Just don't get used to it. We got one more cold shot. So as we go into Sunday here, uh, as we go into Sunday afternoon, notice a lot of the country here seeing uh, pretty much above normal temperatures here, especially across the high plains. But again, we got one more cold shot coming down here as we head toward the middle of the week. So as we head toward Tuesday and then toward Wednesday, here comes that shot coming on down. Boom, here it comes. Invading across the country, across the eastern half going into Wednesday. So we got one more cold shot coming in here 
as we go into Thursday morning, you see a lot of below normal temperatures there across the eastern half of the United States. You're going to split the country right in half right there uh, with that cold air moving on in. Now, that's going to move on out. And once it does, going past the 15th, most of the country will see temperatures at or below or at or above average for the most part. There are some exceptions with those little weaker systems that may provide clouds and rain, but no real Arctic invasions. That's the big ticket here. Uh, even the cool air in the West will be kind of a Pacific oriented and not, uh, not Arctic Canadian origin here as we go from say the 14th to the 21st. So again, most of the nation, we got one little sh shot of cold air right there toward the end of the model run here toward the 20th and 21st. We got a little one here of, of Arctic air across New England, but that's about it. That's the only big Arctic outbreak I see beyond the one that we're gonna see toward the middle and end of next week. And then we'll see temperatures modify across most of the country. And as far as looking ahead for Christmas week, here's the latest outlook here. This is the, basically from the 22nd to the 29th. So Christmas week, as far as the temperatures are concerned, looks like temperatures here across the east, fairly average, looks like above average here in the middle of the country and either uh, slightly below average or average here out in the west. So it does look like we're most of the, uh, half the country will see temperatures uh, seasonal to a little bit above average as we head toward Christmas week, but no Arctic invasions there, thus uh, the reduced chances for seeing any significant snows. Obviously with the with jet stream pattern, the way it's evolving right now, it doesn't even conduce itself for having any major snowstorms, which of course for travelers is good news. But for those wanting white Christmas, it kind of reduces your chances you're going to see anything uh, significant heading toward uh, Christmas week. So that's my outlook right there. Let's look at the latest from the Climate Prediction Center here. Let's give you an update on this. Uh, updated yesterday afternoon. Again, we're going to see uh, below normal temperatures the 11th to the 15th. That's that cold shot coming down here on the 6 to 10 day outlook above, uh, to, uh, above normal temperatures out here in the west. And then most of the country, except for maybe the west coast, seeing near average here, we'll see above normal temperatures from the 13th through the 19th. Now, beyond the 19th, as I showed you going into the 2021st, there's a little Arctic intrusion uh, beyond that heading into the 21st across New England, but uh, generally seeing uh, above normal temperatures here across the country as we head toward the middle of the month. Precipitation wise, a little active on the east of seaboard. We'll see below uh, average precipitation here across the Ohio River Valley into the southwest and into and, and the southeast and the southwest. And then the northwest, we'll see an increased chances of precipitation there. And as we look toward 8, uh, 8 through 14th, again, the 13th to the 19th, still staying below average with precipitation along the east, a little more active activity here in the middle of the country and out west. Again, we'll see a series of those weaker uh, systems coming in across the nation. So hopefully we can beat back some of those drought conditions that we're seeing currently out there on the maps across the country. So looks like we're in store for a... Uh, could be a busy week. We're going to have to watch that storm very closely on Wednesday. I do have some concerns for some severe weather on there. I'm going to have some heavy snows up there as well across portions of upstate New York and into areas up into the northeast with this next storm system. This is the next big one. But after this middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, this upcoming week, not seeing any major storm systems out there uh, beyond that. So it looks like things will settle down a little bit and the nation will get to uh, moderate a little bit from the uh, winter weather, especially the eastern half of the United States, which has started basically since just after Thanksgiving. So we've had a you know, couple week period there of some pretty cold weather here across the east and uh, folks in the west have been eh, fairly mild, not too bad. All right, that's your update for now. Again, if you'd like to continue to receive these as part of your YouTube feed, and all you got to do is subscribe, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you alert on future content. And as always, if there's something you'd like to see in this product, you've got any feedback, uh, please leave a comment down below and give me a thumbs up as we continue to try to grow an effective channel here on the Weather Nerd channel. All right, that's it for now. You guys take it easy. Be good, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.